So I've introduced a way of simplifying thirds, whereby we could say, well, the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. Okay, and this is something I just introduced without really fully explaining it. Okay, so the concept is that I could write a b to the power of a half. You might be able to see it a little bit better with um, indices notation is equal to a to the half b to the half. Okay. We would understand that if I had something like a b squared, then this would be a times b times a times b, which is a squared times b squared. Okay? And in a simple way, that is how these indices are working. So that is why this concept works for us, okay, and why we can simplify thirds using this form. Now a common misconception uh, for students learning about thirds is that then, if that works, then perhaps this also works. Okay? And sadly, this doesn't work in general. Okay? So in general, uh, if you have the square root of a plus b, uh, it's not equal to the square root of a plus the square root of b. You can't just split a square root up in that way. It works for multiplication, but it doesn't work for addition or subtraction. So, to give you an example of why this might not work, okay, well, what this would be saying is that if... I could, well, you can show that it doesn't work with a simple example. If you set a is equal to um, 4 and b is equal to 5, then what we would be saying, or let's say b is 9 instead, then what we would be saying is that the square root of a plus b, which would be root 13, is the same as the square root of a, which we know to be 2, plus the square root of b, which we know to be 3. So I would be saying that root 13 is the same as 5. Okay? But I know that the square root of 25 is 5. So something has gone wrong. So you can show that it doesn't work with a simple example. But to bring it back to indices, Think about if I was saying that a plus b squared, okay? Think about how you expand that bracket. This doesn't mean that I then write, well, this is a squared plus b squared, okay? That's not right either, in much the same way as this is not right, okay? Remember that there is also that a times b and the other a times b, so you've got this extra 2ab inside. So I can say that it's equal to it if I then have on the 2ab. So there's that, there's that extra bit included. So make sure you don't magically start using this, okay? Or, for that matter, while we're on the subject, using this, okay? So this allowed, okay? That works fine, but these don't, okay? So... Keep an eye on your working.